Welcome back to episode five of season three of the $100 Flip Up Challenge, where we take $100 from scratch and then we turn that into a high-end gaming PC. And right here, we've got some amazing news on a couple of fronts. The first of the best news is that we sold the 2080 Super setup that we finished the previous episode in for 1100 Aussie dollars. So someone came in picked up that whole setup. And then we've got some other good news here is, and that is we've got the cooler in from AliExpress, a straight up 20 Ti cooler that will fit on the reference PCB. It's actually a Zotac gaming model, but because we're gonna use the screws from the water block, this actually only comes with the cooler and the memory pads. It didn't come with the screws. So we're gonna use the screws from that water block and then plug this back in, fix this up, and we're going to have then a 2080 Ti for actually a really good price. And I've already tested this, I know it works fine. However, we still do have to piece together a motherboard CPU and some RAM to make this whole PC done because we still do have a water cooler from the previous episode as well as a case and a power supply for this build. However, we do still need to pick up an SSD too. But that is still gonna leave us with some cash to spare. And since we do still have a monitor as well as one of those uh, keyboard mouse and headset combos, I'm actually gonna try and piece out a setup on something lower end. And so what we've got right here is an RTX 3050 that's come up on Marketplace for 250 Aussie dollars. I put in an offer of 200 and they've accepted. So we're gonna go pick that up, but then I still need a CPU and motherboard and things like that to make this build happen. So what I'm gonna do is go pick up a case from Umart, a brand new RGB case for 60 Aussie dollars, as well as an SSD for this build, and then go see Les, who I deal with in used PC parts hunts. He's always got budget OEM systems for sale. So I'm gonna try and get an OEM i7-4770 Dell setup from him for a good price. And then I'm gonna to piece together that whole setup with the monitor, keyboard, and mouse and RTX 3050. And I'm gonna try and maybe go for say $850 for that whole combo, which I think is doable. So let's go hit the tech yes mobile, go pick up all these deals. And we've still got a bit of cash left as well. So if we do come into any problems while we're building these PCs, we'll be able to alleviate those problems because we got a little bit in the slosh fund to make that happen. But hopefully we don't come into any problems, fingers crossed, but let's go get those deals and then come back here and see what we're working with. Season three of the $100 Flip Up Challenge is brought to you by VIP SCD Keys, bringing you that $15 Windows 10 Pro Key license when you use that coupon code BFTYC. Links in description below. And so here is our X99 motherboard combo i7-6800K and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory on an ASUS motherboard, a Republic of Gamers Strix motherboard. So that's actually gonna go really nice in this 2080 Ti flip that we're gonna be putting it into. However, I did meet the guy at a supermarket, so it was kind of awkward. However, I have met people at public places before and I always look for their responses as soon as I'm talking to them. This guy's response was actually legit. I asked him, you know, is it working? He straight away said, yeah, it works. I just changed it over to a Z790 14700K because I use Adobe Lightroom. And I know from experience using Adobe products, you do actually need especially strong single core performance and of course, multi-core performance. So upgrading to a six core 12 thread to the uh, 14700K is a legitimate excuse. And he didn't seem sus at all when he was uh, giving me any of those answers. Had he said the typical scammer excuse of, it was working when I tested it last a few months ago, I would have just left him with his parts outside the coal supermarket and walked away and just kept my money. But so he did seem legit. However, we will test it when we get home and make sure it's 100%. So with that aside, it's now time to go get that RTX 3050, and then we're gonna actually head on to Lezzers and pick up some of the final pieces, but also we've gotta to go to the computer store too to go quickly get a case and power supply. And what you did to me. And here we are right here guys with the RTX 3050 and actually we featured this in the used PC parts son of the month 
It's actually an MSI card in a Gigabyte 3060 box, but that's okay because the person selling it, they were upgrading to an RTX 3060. But also between picking up the X99 deal and this graphics card right here, we did stop into UMart and we did get that case as well as that power supply. So there's the last piece of the puzzle in the boot right now. That is that Optiplex with the 16 gigabytes of RAM and the i7-4770. So we can finally play some flip up cricket. And we now finally have all the parts here on the table. We've also got two one terabyte SSDs to build out these two PCs. One of them's just going to be a PC on its own. That's this 2080 Ti PC right here. Then we've got the RTX 3050 setup, which is gonna include the keyboard, mouse, and monitor. However, we have come into a problem already, and that is the AliExpress cooler, the, th uh, the threads on this cooler, it doesn't fit this water blocks cooler's screws, nor does it fit just out of the Optiplex. I pulled out a Quadro, and it doesn't fit the little screw here either. So I'm actually gonna have to run down the hardware store right now before they close and get the right screws for this cooler so we can get this GPU working. So we just got back from the hardware store, Bunnings, and they didn't have the M2. I believe these need an M2 or maybe smaller, but the, the smallest screws they had was M3. So I was out of luck there. I gotta try the hardware, sorry, the nuts and bolts store tomorrow morning. But until then, I'm just actually gonna time lapse, start building up these PCs and setups. One will be minus a graphics card for now, but gotta get it done. So the RTX 3050 setup is now complete and it is looking RGB flippalicious and we we're just running a benchmark, the Heaven benchmark, testing out the GPU and it's a 3050 and it's running under 70 degrees so everything is absolutely fine there. We've got the keyboard and mouse with the RGB bling, we got the mouse pad with the RGB bling and we got the headset which we're using the microphone to actually record this bit of this video where I've actually got the headset in the listing but what I've decided to do, this one we're hoping to pick up quite a bit of profit on this one and that of course is going to help us move up to that next level. Hopefully we can get into, once we get this build done in the morning with the 2080 Ti, we get this setup sold as well. I'm really hoping that we can step up into the 4000 series on the next flip. But anyhow, let's get some photos of this thing right here, put it up for sale. And then we're also gonna wake up in the morning and then head down to the nuts and bolts store and see if we can finally complete that other PC, which just literally needs us to put the GPU in and that's it. So it's now the next morning and we have a finished 2080 Ti system here. However, I did need to go down to, and big shout out to Narang Bolts and Nuts, where they measured up the cooler for us and it was a really weird length, 2.5 mil screws by six long. That's what they ended up having. We got that for $3 for 20 of those screws. Lifesaver, because without them, I don't know where I would have got the right fitting for this GPU and everything fitted fine. However, I'm just running a temperature test now and the temperatures are getting a little bit too hot. So I'm gonna run afterburner 
and then see if I can tune this thing under voltage. Just make it running so it's like at around 70 degrees because the cooler is quite small. Usually with a 28Ti uh, reference model, they do get around 80 degrees anyway. So I'm gonna tune this thing down. I like it running cooler, especially when I sell it. I want the person who buys it to have a long gaming life on their PC. But other than that, we put everything together. I didn't actually need to update the BIOS on this particular motherboard because it was already the latest BIOS. And in the parts hunt, I did have a problem like a D6 error with a different card, but I'm guessing that was just because it was a newer card or some compatibility issue. But 2080 Ti works absolutely fine. Everything is good to go. I'm just going to tune this right now and see what I can sweet spot it at. And then we'll come back and we'll take some photos and talk about what price we're gonna try and get for this rig right here. So with a bit of TLC, or should I say TYL, tech yes loving, we've managed to cool down the graphics card a little bit. It's hovering under 80 degrees now, but it's still the cooler is real mediocre, I'd say. Even calling it mediocre would be a bit of a far stretch here. So tuned up, it's okay. And that's like, that's the best we can do. So I'm happy now with the final result. It's just that I would have liked a little bit of extra wiggle room there, but hovering under like low 70s or under 75 is okay. And it's undervolted, so the power consumption isn't really all that bad. I mean, 250-ish, 270 watts max while we're using Unigine Heaven is actually a really good result. So yeah, that's the power of undervolting. It can sort of get you out of a pinch. But in terms of pricing, let's take some photos of this thing and come back to the drawing board and talk about pricing, strategy going forward, and where we're at. So we're now at the finish line and we have all the PCs complete and they are all running 100% ready to flip. And what I'm gonna try and do is, after we spent uh, money patching up both these PCs and getting them all ready, I have about a little over 300 Aussie dollars left in the kitty, but I'm also intending to sell this one for about 850 in the whole setup. And then the 2080 Ti, I'm gonna go pretty high and go for 1200 Aussie dollars because of just the specs on it. And so hopefully this will leave us, if we can get both around our asking prices or even close, that'll leave us with around 2,300-ish Australian dollars for episode six, which means that we can definitely now start to explore perhaps an RTX 4080 flip if we can get the right deals. So by getting those GPU deals at the right prices, that's easily the best thing that is doing these higher end flips for us in terms of making profit, where a $200 RTX 3050 is a great deal, as well as a $380-ish Aussie 2080 Ti. That's also a really solid deal. So these PCs, I'm just liking the look of them. They're relatively quiet and they're good to go. Though one final thing to mention is the higher we do go in price, the generally the longer it does take to sell on the used market as opposed to those real budget setups we were doing in episode one and two, they were just going the next day. So the next episode could take another week, could take another two weeks even, but we're going to get there guys. We are on the way to our RTX 4090 Dream PC from a hundred bucks. And also I will take out gas as well. So the start of episode five, we're gonna budget 80 Aussie dollars out for gas, $20 an episode. So that's gonna last us till episode eight. And then we can budget some new gasoline after that too. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Also let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite deal in today's episode. Love reading those thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll see you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.